Hello, before I'd like to start this episode, any and all deck suggestions, especially with more obscure and weirder commanders, are always appreciated, because I have several decks made, and I'm not sure how many I can make into videos, per se, so that would support things, thank you. A lot of you guys probably don't know what magic is, too, so... If you're into it, I guess subscribe to the channel in description. If not, skip this episode. With my beautifully updated commentary community avatar that looks terrifying without the white now that I'm seeing it, I'd like to actually kind of take it easy today. I'm pretty tired, you know? Let's just make a nice cute little deck about dogs pretty bad deck about dogs, but they're dogs, so you can't hate it too much. And you could probably make a pretty budget. Its current price is excessive, but there's easy replacements here. But the most important part is keeping a smile with royalty-free music. Let's go. Not gonna lie, I hate this music and I only want to use this avatar for commentary. Now that I think about, so I'm... Um, that's better. So, Tulsa, your friend to wolves, really does live up to the name. You create a wolf when it enters. Whenever a wolf enters, you gain three life and it fights a creature. Simple enough. So basically, I went with a fusion of both life gain soul sisters, which adding the life gain in there makes it pretty self-explanatory, and wolf tribal. Both of them kind of combine together well for the whole, maybe not ETB effect sub-theme, but making more wolves is good. There's only one minor problem with a deck about wolves. Wolves suck. Luckily, the w life gain ETB sub-theme of the Soul Sisters stuff is a bit better. But we'll go over some examples on why, you know, wolves are not the most proficient creatures in magic, but why we have to use them because it's a wolf tribal deck. That is the goal. To put things in perspective, in terms of the wolf mana curve and how few lands we're running and in terms of how little ramp we have, given, you know, the simplicity of the deck, we're running a wolf whose only ability is banding. Yeah, we're in some happy times, but to be fair, we have some good one-drop wolves. Obviously, we have the Soul Sisters, which are all good one drops, of course, as well. But yeah, this deck is a mixture of limited fodder, some underrated cards that are surprisingly good, and some straight up classics. I won't go over what each wolf does or what it's capable of, you know, what it contributes to the deck. Every wolf is a wolf, that is why they are there, really. A lot of them just have a lot of added bonuses, Due to the f simple fact that wolves typically aren't made for tribal decks, so a lot of them kind of play independently. Meanwhile, the life gain is supposed to somehow actually synthesize with the wolf sub-theme in a way that makes sense, because otherwise it'd just be a jangled, mangled mess of cards, and we don't want that, so we're going for a more aggressive approach, which... Though, doesn't necessarily directly synergize with the wolf cards. Can help it. And given we're a weak deck, we might need the life gain anyways. In terms of tribal lords, we have a few. I did go over Archangel of Thune. That can basically be a mass team metallic mimic with the life gain in play. Yeah, we have metallic mimic. We also have a new Arlen Cord, who as disappointing as she is does work in this deck, and this is probably the only deck she can really work in, actually. 
The rest of the deck is what you'd expect from a Celestnia tribal deck that isn't elves or soldiers. There are wolves. A lot of the wolves are interesting on their own. The only thing I really need to go over is that there are a few cards that synergy and synergize. I don't know which word is the real one. Anyways, there are some fight synergy cards. In fact, it's the most expensive card in the deck, mana cost-wise. Despite how much is going on on the card itself, this commander deck is pretty simple in terms of execution. Play some wolves, gain some life, make your wolves bigger. And no, I'm not dealing with plus one plus one synergies that happen to occur with this deck because I'm sick of plus one plus one counters. And I haven't even gotten to a deck that uses them. But whatever, it's all good. I like wolves. I'll cry when someone wraths of God my precious doggos because they're adorable. But anyways, the deck is in description as usual. Thanks to Orobo for all the gifts of all the cute dogs running all over the place. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh wait, what's this? This is for Smart Alex channel. And he sounded dead the whole time because he was actually really tired. Well, you're in luck. Because if you want to see more magic content like this, you can go subscribe to his other channel called Alec Kazam. Yeah, I know. Isn't that clever? Oh, you can click on his Every Commander Deck Ever playlist right here, too. That's neat. Hey, hey, hey. Share this video if you'd like. Probably not. All of you are probably super confused um, why I just have a random magic video. You guys, I bet half of you don't even know what's happening.